Okay, <clears throat> I had a little rodent problem in my house, and as you can see, here's a little bastard right now, enjoying his little meal. Um, I looked at a lot of different types of rat poisons and whatever, and I couldn't really find anything that was, like, super effective, and now I found it. Now, let me tell you, I've invested every last dollar to every little stupid trap. Like, you ever see this guy on YouTube, Mousetrap Mondays? So I've actually done a lot of research on most of the products. Like that, um, I forget the name of it. It's a piston that comes out and breaks their neck. Maybe for rats, but not for little mice. Little mice go in. Maybe if they put a little pressure on the little actual ring. This is probably the same mouse this or maybe there's two or three i don't even know this is disgusting as it may seem is in my dining room and um i don't know how these little bastards could have gotten in i'm guessing it's from the <coughs> the kitchen there's a draft when you pull the drawer where there's a, the china where there's a silverware i should say not the china it's always been cold in the winter. I'm saying, okay, there's a, there's a draft behind the wall. So I put my blink camera on the ground to videotape whatever was there. So as you can see, these actual videos show the little bastard roaming around and enjoying. Now, basically, to give you the short end of the stick, you want to make sure you kill these fuckers. My mom, we're Italian. She likes to bake. She's always making bread. She's always making pizza. So I found that the flour in my cupboard, or I have a room in the house where I have all, like a dispensary, where we have everything, where we keep everything. Now, this guy looks more like a rat than he does a mouse. He's pretty big. Unless he's the father of all rats or all mice. That's a pretty big dish. And for him to actually fit in there like that is pretty impressive. See, this guy's a little nothing. He's a little miniature nothing. So he's like, maybe he's a female and the other one's a male. But I had actually placed these dishes around the house. Essentially what it is, is the best concoction is Aunt Jemima's, right? Aunt Jemima's is a mixture of flour, maybe yeast, uh, baking soda, something or another. I don't know what it is, but they love it. Now they love regular flour. Whoever said that mice like cheese must have been delusional because I put cheese out there and they just looked at it. Uh, I did put a greasy piece of bacon on a sticky trap, but I think there's something, the smell of the sticky trap scares the living bejesus out of them that they don't even go near it. But they did manage to eat all of the, the, um, the greasy bacon. Um, so basically what I did was I mixed Aunt Jemima's with Arm & Hammer baking soda. So baking soda is a bicarbonate. And the baking soda essentially, um, from what I understand, is they don't um, digest. They're not, they don't have the ability to fart. So I think they either fill up with gas and they explode. Now, somebody wrote online that this is a very inhumane way to kill the animal. Listen, personally, I've squashed three or four of them on one of those sticky traps where I've actually I had a pleasure of stomping that little bastard and I'm happy to do it here's uh, another room in the house where I put a little bit I was I sensed that there was some, some sort of like remnant of like mouse shit or piss over there I don't know what it was but it turns out there was a banana um, appeal that was on the floor there and it left a mark but anyway so no, I put them around the house and there's no more mouse droppings anywhere. The problem is, is that wherever these little bastards drop dead, in the wall or, uh, you know, underneath something, the stink is going to come out because I did have a weird smell near my computer downstairs and it uh, I couldn't get rid of it. It was really repulsive. And then eventually it just disappeared one day. And then one, you know, another time I was cleaning behind the wall unit and I found a sticky trap with like three little mice on it, like babies, stuck to it. Obviously they didn't know any better, they stuck to it. Um, so what I'm telling you people is take a, I had a quarter box left of Aunt Jemima's pancake mix. 
I took equal amount of Arm & Hammer baking soda. And I took a whisk and I, I whisked it up. I, I, I scrambled it really nicely. But I said, you know what? A lot of places online say not to put sugar because they're only attracted to the, um, to the flour, which is true. But I said, let me give it a shot this time with a little sugar. So I didn't use regular granulated sugar because I said, I don't want them to be able to spot it. So I mixed that powdery sugar. I know what they call it, confectionery sugar. So I mix um, one part confectionery sugar, let's say uh, a quarter of a cup, and then one cup of uh, baking soda and one cup of Aunt Jemima pancake mix. Mixed it all up, put them in these little dishes, and as you can see from, let me see if I have video of the guy going to town on that shit. I mean, they loved it. They couldn't stop eating that shit. Let me see, where is it? Excuse me. Uh, just bear with me. I know my voice is annoying. Too many videos, too many videos. Where are you? Come on. Front door. I have a Blink camera system, and do yourself a favor. Don't waste your money on it. Um, uh, this is a, um, a light that turns on from motion, the fog light. I don't know what you call those things. Mouse trap. All right, here's one in the corner there. And there's, this is a small guy. Let's see, here's a small guy again. There's a small guy again going to town. And look at this guy. He's big. And that's it. Hope this uh, works out for you. I'll put an update of the dead mice and the situation if I find any. And I'll let you know what happens. But leave your comments below and subscribe if you feel like. No problem.